I started to read a book about success psychology. I got reminded about the visualization part, which is crucial if you want to achieve an ultimate goal. So if you want to achieve an ultimate goal, it always needs to have a deadline. Then you need to have an action plan That's the next step. Half a year later, I landed my first course. What's up guys, back on YouTube and today we talk about motivation. I believe when it comes to motivation I'm a great role model because I was able to transform a dream into reality. So what am I talking about? It's the fitness magazine covers, just watch out here, you see some of my covers. And today I want to give you a guideline how I was able to achieve this ultimate goal. Everything started when I was a kid. I was standing in front of the camera and I loved photography. It was like a passion to stand in front of the camera. And later on I started in the gym and my first steps were just to be fit and healthy. I didn't have like an ultimate goal, but then I started to read fitness magazines and everything changed. So I was not really interested in the articles. I was just seeing the covers and seeing those physiques and deep inside I knew that I could be better than some of those people that are on the cover and that's when the dream started to develop okay so I went back into the gym started to train harder I was working on my diet you know and developing a better and better physique but that was not enough to land on the covers right so I started to read a book about success psychology. I was having a flight to Miami with my vacation and I bought the book on the airport and I started to read it in the airplane. And then they were talking about visualization and I think this flight changed everything because I got reminded about the visualization part which is crucial if you want to achieve an ultimate goal. Right, so I came back from this vacation and I started to put things into practice. So I was writing down the goal of landing the fitness magazine cover with a deadline. So if you want to achieve an ultimate goal, it always needs to have a deadline. If you don't set a deadline, you won't make it because it's not mandatory. Then you need to have an action plan, that's the next step. So the action plan for me was I had to get noticed in a big exhibition, you know. So I started to prepare myself for the FIBO, which is one of the biggest expos, and I really brought my physique in the peak conditioning, right? So I went there and was walking all over the expo topless, so that all people that are important in the industry were seeing my physique. And I wanted to like show something that is really unique about my physique, it's my abs. So, and that's how it happened. I was seeing this uh, photographer there and other people and they noticed me because of my abs, because this was like my asset on this uh, expo. And they told me, hey, you need to come to LA and you need to shoot for a magazine cover. So that was the next step, right? And then we organized the shoots. It was not only one shoot, we had several shoots in LA. And the photographers told me, hey, you will land not only on one cover, on uh, several covers. <laughs> right, so, and first off, I thought, mm, they might be joking, it's not gonna happen. And yeah, later on, when I went back, like half a year later, I landed my first cover. So, so again, you see, the rule of attraction is true. So, because I was sending out this signal to the universe, and the universe sent me something back right this is like subconscious energy that you send out because later on in my life i was always working with this visualization techniques and it always worked out because the right people came in my life in the right moment and the wrong people they were going out of my life and that's what you need to like learn you're not dependent on anybody you need to live your life in a way that it's good for you and the right people will follow you and the wrong people they will go out of your life that's how it happened with my uh, life when i was pursuing my dream of uh, getting a cover model right and i had great support of my parents so thanks to my parents this also happened because 
Imagine you're in a gym and you tell your friends you're gonna land some covers. They were like, he's gonna, he's joking, he's crazy, you know. I heard all of that stuff. And they were saying, hey, there's so many people out there, so many US guys, you won't make it on a cover. You're from Switzerland. Switzerland is such a small country. It's impossible to, to achieve. So whenever you hear people telling you it's impossible to achieve something, they are talking about themselves. If you tell yourself already in the beginning it's impossible, you're like crediting the word impossible and you won't make it because subconsciously you're already putting your mindset into impossible and the possible part is switched off, right? So you need to learn a language or subconscious language that is very empowering. So the empowerment part is also very important. You need to have a surrounding that is empowering you in achieving your goal. If you don't have that, that's not good. So I was like really creating the surrounding of people that were lifting me up all the time. And you need to develop the mindset of a champion and willing to work harder than anybody else. Let's say in order to be a part of the 1%, you need to be willing to do what 99% won't be doing because they don't want to leave the comfort zone, right? You got my message here on YouTube. All right, I hope you liked this video about motivation. Give thumbs up. If you want to know more about my motivation tips, feel free to direct message me or leave the comments under the video here. And we see us in the next video. I promise you I'll bring workouts, so stay tuned. Out. So here we are again on YouTube and I'm back now in Switzerland. I hope you like the travels. I love traveling and I will share the next travels that I organize with you guys and share that passion with you. So today I want